Good morning, everybody, or I guess afternoon. What time is it? Um, daylight savings time has really screwed me up. You won't be seeing this till much, much after. Um, today's video is going to be, uh, we bought some herbs over the weekend right here. And we don't have any south facing windows. We only have east facing windows. So the amount of sun that they will get is gonna be like a minimum. So we wanna get them in the window getting sun as much as they can. And then when we don't have um, sun coming in from the window, then we are going to put them under a light just to keep them alive in our apartment. So today we're going to tackle the task of building like a window box for the plants inside here. So we're gonna do it in our patio door. It's gonna be like a box that goes all the way around and then the plants are gonna sit up above. All right, I have these pieces of wood here that we got to be the width, the same depth as the door so that it will basically sit in the, in the um, part of the door. So these are five and these are six inches. You buy them as a six inch, but they're about five and a half inches, which is perfect for our door. So we just have to cut them down to two sizes. So two boards will be one size and another board. The other two boards will be another size. So I'm just gonna do that now. The next thing, so now that the pieces of wood are all cut, I'm just gonna make sure that it fits. I did measure the other day and it should be fine. Um, I'm just gonna do that now. Unfortunately, my window is not straight. Um, I have these pieces in here. I will have to screw them down. I don't have the top on yet because there is something special we have to do with the top, but this is basically what I was thinking, like framing out this piece. And then on the top, which is right here, oh, sorry, Oliver. I'm going to take my pots that I'm gonna put in it and I'm going to measure right under the rim here. And then I'm gonna put the circle so that these can just pop through in the holes. So you're not sitting on here, they're actually sitting through the wood. So it'll come out like this, but like in the center of the wood. And the reason we're doing that is because we're doing, sorry, the reason we're doing pots without holes in the bottom is because we don't wanna water these and have them ruin the little thing that I'm making. And with them being with them being in our patio door, we still wanna be able to go out the patio door. So we're putting this up. It's actually 65 inches up. Basically this piece of wood here, if it fits, will sit right on top like that. And it will be all screwed in and you'll still be able to go in and out the door um, even with the pot plants or the plants in there. And that will give them room to grow as well. And that's basically what we're doing. All right, let me put you down on the ground here so you can see better what I'm doing. Um, this is the bottom piece. We're going to screw and I'll start with this end, I guess. Take this piece. I have to move this piece back here. That's the bars that are in the way. So we're going to take this piece. So we're going to take these two pieces and we are going to, no, they're not even right now because they're not on the same carpet, pre-drill hole through this side and then we're going to screw in through this side and then we're going to do the same to the other side. Now that it's all screwed in, this is what it looks like. I'm gonna just measure out the top piece um, before I put it back in the window, I think. And my goodness, do we have a gorgeous day outside. I have 
have my circles here, so I'm gonna just drill with the largest drill bit that I have right dead in the center so that I can um, use my jigsaw to cut out from the center to go to the circle. So we're just gonna do that now. Thank you. 